Hey guys, for a second here. And today I will be bringing you a short guide for Reshade. Reshade is a post-processing tool, you know, adding stuff like blur or sharpening a picture, adding different lightning effects, stuff like that, um, which can be handled by the games themselves, but most people don't like how the games themselves do it. So they prefer to use this little tool here. And I will show you how to use it because it's pretty complicated at first, but once you get a hang of it and you know what you're doing and stuff, then it gets really easy, really fast. So let's start. First, you want to go to reshade.me and click on download. This will bring you down here. And for this video, we will be using reshade 2.0. So we click on that one and this will bring you to Mediafire right here. And you click on the download button right here to download the latest reshade file. I already did that, so I don't really need to do that. Um, and it will bring you to this file right here and we then can just extract it and afterwards what I want to do is you know you can just open it up and do it right away but what I like to do I like to basically remove it from right here and then just put it right into my system folder so um, I can use it for different games and it uh, doesn't get deleted very easily so that's nice. All right so how do we get this working in Warhammer? Well, it's pretty easy. You know, you click on the Reshade Assistant right here. This opens up this README, which we don't really need. You basically skip everything that's right here and you skip right to Profiles. And then you add a game, you know? So you go to your Total War Warhammer folder right here and you add the games exe file. Um, and again, this can be any game. So we want Warhammer, so we do that. And then this pops up. This is pretty easy. Um, you just need to Google basically which of those things you need to check. Um, for me uh, and for Weimar, this is DXGI. You just click on it. You know, it doesn't really um, doesn't really say anything except down here. You know, um, but it works. So um, even though this says like D3, D9, um, which would be this one. Um, you know, I just click on it. Maybe it's wrong, maybe because this is red or something else, but this works for me. So that's what I'm telling you. And then you go to confirm. And this will basically add the Total War Warhammer game to this assistant. And again, if, if you want any other game, you can do this again um, and create all like profiles for all your games. And then we move on to presets. And you double click on presets and then this one will pop up. And we do want to get our own preset, so we will click on the plus sign. We will enter whatever we want to call it, you know. If you have different presets um, for like night and day, for example, you can call it, I don't know, Star Wars Battlefront night and day, or like night, and then another one with the day. Um, but that's the preset I want to use for Total Weimar. We click on confirm, and then we double click it, um, and we save, and we save again. So that's it. And then we can exit this um, program here and we don't really want to use it again, except for other games. And now without really um, anything from our side, we got this into Total War Weimar. You can see Reshade got this uh, symlink file in here. Um, the DXGI file is in there and that's basically it. All right, so now what we first want to see is if it's working. So let's start up the launcher and let's start up Total War Weimar. And then we can see if it's working because right up here in the top left, there should be the reshade thing. And there we go. So that's nice. That's, um, that let us know that it's working and it's pretty good if you check this first. And you can see that it's working right now, but there's no thing um, that shows that it's running. You know, would be pretty annoying. So what we do want to um, do next is we go to reshade again. We go to the reshade folder inside this folder. Then what we want to go, uh, do is we want to go to the presets. And here's our preset that we set for Total Warhammer. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but not really. So what you want to do is you want to basically mess with those nine files over here. Those are the effects, the shaders, so to speak, um, that affect your game. So you can go in right here um, and you can say, all right, you do want the grain. So you change zero by um, on the define use, whatever filter there is, you know, this most likely the filter name to one. And then you save it and then you will see that 
it will already be um, displayed film grain um, right over here in the game and that means it, it is um, applied so I do don't really want to use that one but um, you saw that this didn't really change much but if we close this one and we open another one we will see that there is I think I wanted this one yeah so um, if you open up the third one and we use this one you know you can see this is like the same trend there's one um, filter or like one effect that's right here and then you basically activate it right here and if you do want to um, change different things you then can change those things and most of these um, effects are really good explained like right over here so we just want to use this um, just for demonstration purposes and we save it and you can see it gets applied immediately and that's how it looks um, and again like if you um, if you do want to change the settings you know some sometimes it doesn't really work um, but most of the time it will and you can change uh, different different things here um, and this is kind of how you go about it you know you need to go through these files one by one if you don't want to use the um, program which is again pretty um, hard to do then you go uh, over this one and you can add different things for example you can add a cartoon effect you know which gives this a little bit of an outline you can even make this ridiculous just so you know you know um, how this looks and you can see that you can can barely read this at the moment but um, just for demonstration purposes you can do this and you can see how this effect looks and if you don't like it you just deactivate it save again and uh, you will see it every time what presets you have loaded and this is pretty good because um, that's basically how you work around this you know we can try this out you can see this uh, adds a few lines here I don't think this will be visible in YouTube um, so that's basically how you do it and it's pretty easy and you just choose the effects that you like and you stick to them you know you um, refine them right down here for example and this is uh, kind of how it goes you look for the effect you turn it on or off by setting a one or a zero right here and then the settings are play uh, are explained down here most likely with an explanation right next to it and then you adjust the settings of this one effect right here and that's basically it um, if you do get pretty good presets there uh, are sites out there where you can share it um, so others can download it as well and that's how you use the reshade tool for the warhammer thing but again this applies to any game just um, get this installation right and then everything should work out so thanks for watching guys have fun with this uh, little tool and i think especially for the total war warhammer series it's much better than using gemfx because it has a lot more settings like you can see that there are different kind of um, kind of filters and effects and you can see that this is a pretty complex tool with a lot of different settings and it's much much better than gemfx until gemfx um, fixes the bypass ui uh, option so that the effects only get applied to the battle um, themselves and not the interface because I think especially Blur makes uh, yeah the interface pretty unreadable at times so if you do use these effects I think GemFX will still be better but only if they fix the bypass UI but for now I'm using the reshade tool and it's, it's working pretty well so yeah that's it for me thanks for watching guys have fun if you like the content please subscribe leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions comment as well and I'll see you guys next time.